Advent is beginning early once again here at Old Stonewall Farm. I'm not talking about Celtic Advent, which begins November 15th. Rather, we're starting on November 12th, which is known as St. Martin's Lent. 40 days leading us into Christmas Eve, in which we are reminded about the Bishop St. Martin, who lived in the 4th century. He began his career as a soldier, and the story goes that as he was riding his horse one wintry night, he came across a naked beggar, and he was freezing. So Martin cut his cape in half and gave it to the beggar. That is where we get the word chaplain from. Chaplains are those people who care for others in the hospital, nursing homes, in the army. And it comes from the word meaning little cape, echoing back to what Martin did for that beggar. Basically, Martin was living out the Gospel of Matthew 25, caring for strangers, and by doing so, caring for Jesus himself. In fact, Martin had a dream that Jesus was wearing his half of the cape, telling everybody what he had just done. So St. Martin's Day begins a journey through Advent for us to the Christmas season, and is marked by the lighting of lanterns to remind us of that light that Martin shone so brightly in the world. As Martin once said, Lord, if your people need me, I will not refuse the work. And so let us begin Advent early by observing the ways of St. Martin. And may we reach out to others. May we share our little capes. Day, but it is St. Martin's Day here at Old Stonewall Farm, and I couldn't think of a better place to be than on top of Sophie's Hill, even though it's cold out, to talk to you about St. Martin and how important this saint is to, to us for our lives. I already told you the story about the cape and where we get the word chaplain from. That's where we also get the word chapel. A little room would be built off the side of a church and that little room would be the place where they would house the relic of St. Martin's cape. So thus it would be called chapel. I only recently discovered that I was ordained on St. Martin's Day. I just always thought 16 years ago on November 11th, I was ordained on Veterans Day weekend. A friend of mine who's a chaplain mentioned the story of where we get the word chaplain from, meaning little cape, referencing St. Martin's compassionate gesture to give that beggar a nice warm cloak, half of his cloak, I realized I was ordained on St. Martin's Day and that has had a profound impact on me. What am I doing now? What am I really doing in my life that shows God that I have taken on the mantle of of the little cape, of the chaplain, of caring for others? Am I really eager to share my cape with others? How often am I really compassionate, putting others' needs before my own? And so these are a lot of questions that I've been asking of myself and also of what am I to do in my life? And I feel as if on this anniversary of my ordination, discovering that this is also St. Martin's Day, it has added a whole new depth to the meaning of my life. And I wanted to share that with you because I want you to find depth and meaning in your life as well. You know, maybe you're not ordained, that's okay, and you don't have such an anniversary, but we do have St. Martin's Day. We have this day to remember how we are called to be kind and compassionate to other people, how we are called to take our cloak and, and share it with others. In addition to the story of his little cape, there's a legend that goes that St. Martin was invited to a village to care for some sick people. But it turns out he was brought there to be consecrated as a bishop, but he did not want that responsibility, so he took off and he hid in a barn. Unfortunately for Martin, the geese that were in the barn with him they gave him away. You know that geese can be loud and just boisterous and really annoying. That is why, my friends, goose is usually cooked for a St. Martin dinner. 
So the geese gave St. Martin up. And so everyone found him and he couldn't run from the responsibility that he was given to care for other people. That really makes me feel better because sometimes I feel like I'm running away from what God wants of me. Sometimes I'm running so quickly because I don't want the Holy Spirit to catch up with me. I am afraid of what God is really asking of me. It's going to sound silly, but I think that I'm more afraid of succeeding and doing what God wants. And I'm more afraid of my light shining than I am of failing. Think about that for a second. That in life, it is safe to say that we are more afraid sometimes of really shining brightly. Even saints doubt themselves. So if you have doubts today, you are in good company. But know this, God wants your light to shine no matter what. Don't be afraid of what you have to offer the world. Don't be afraid. Let it shine. The shining of lanterns is a big part of the St. Martin's Day celebration. In fact, in Europe, St. Martin's Day tends to be quite popular. And there's a procession of lanterns where all the children decorate lanterns and they parade throughout the villages. And they are reminded, especially at this time of year when the days are getting shorter and the darkness encroaches even more quickly upon us, that there's nothing to fear, that we have a light to shine. St. Martin's Day is all about compassion and showing compassion for other people and taking care of others. And we celebrate the day with lanterns to remind us of that bright, holy God light that Martin just radiated out into the world. Even when he had doubts, even when he took off to hide in a barn, he was called by God to radiate love. Here at Old Stonewell Farm, I've invited you for the past three years to celebrate a Celtic Advent, which begins November 15th. And I always love the idea of starting Advent earlier. It gives you additional weeks to be more prayerful and um, additional weeks to really let us soak in what this season is all about as the world ramps up its bye bye bye. I ask you to take a step back and really pray, pray, pray. But this year at Old Stonewell Farm, I introduce you to a new Advent tradition. We're going to start Advent even a little bit earlier than November 15th. November 12th, the day after St. Martin's Day, was always known as the start. A St. Martin's Lent. So November 12th would be an early Advent, and they called it a St. Martin's Lent. And where it would be 40 days leading up to Christmas Eve, in which people were asked to show and do acts of compassion in those 40 days. It's just a few more days earlier than Celtic Advent. But I thought it'd be really great to embrace St. Martin's Lent this year because we do need more compassion in this world. To remind myself that I am in St. Martin's Lent, that I'm going to be observing it, I'm going to have a candle in a lantern and I'm going to light it each and every night. Now, until Christmas Eve, we are being asked to do one act of kindness to show compassion in the world. May you share your little cape with someone in need this day. And here we go. We are beginning our journey to Christmas with the St. Martin Lent. Thanks for coming to Old Stonewell Farm. And if I am speaking quickly, it's because it's really cold in these woods. And I'm going to go back home and have a cup of cocoa. Until later, God bless. Sound more.